Oh, I didn't see you guys there. What's up? Well, welcome to my Game Mix Setup 2021. Let's go, boys. Here, we have the setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's Kamali, and I'm out. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Well, what's up, guys? It's Kamali here, and today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my 2021 gaming setup. Guys, before I even get into the setup, I really just wanna say thank you so much for everything that you guys did, all the support. We got from 1,000 subscribers in 2020 to 80,000, and to me, that's just insane. Seeing that I set a goal of only hitting 10,000 by the year, we end up smashing it with like another 70K. That's actually insane to me, and thank you guys so much. You guys don't understand what this means to me. And this is just the beginning, guys. We're just getting started right now. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the support, and let's get into 2021, and here's my setup. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> All right, boys, here we go. So over here is where I sleep. Obviously, you guys don't care. This is my bed. Got the blue sheets, you know, because blue, why not? And then over here, I have this fan. The worst fan in the world, I swear. Bro, this fan covers, like, half my body. Like, I don't even see the point of it. Like, look at it. It's so dumb. But anyways, over here is where I have my floodlights to make my background. That's the blue one. And then over here, I have the purple one. It's so I can make that purple and blue effect. Over here, I got my Elgato box. I literally just got my Elgato green screen today. I'm probably going to use it in this video. You guys will see. You probably know already. And now we go to the only side of my room with everything in it. What is that? Actually, I almost forgot to show you guys. Right here is my Clicks mouse pad. I don't have it here because I'm a big fanboy. It's because I accidentally kicked a hole in my wall. But I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was John Jones or something, but you know, it didn't work and I kind of just like broke the wall because of drywall. Now over here, you guys have already seen it from my last video, my whole wall of boxes. It's just a whole bunch of random boxes. I never even changed it from last time. I just kept them there. I probably should just move it now. I think it's kind of pointless now, but there's a whole bunch of random iPhone and Model O boxes and just random boxes. And then over here, I have like a little keyboard collection. This one is the GK61 with the yellow switches. It's really, really fast. Then you have the Ducky One Too Many that's missing a control key because I, I don't know. I have enough keycaps, but I'm too lazy. Then we have the Clix X Matrix keyboard. This one actually goes for a lot now. And then this is the Mr. Savage keyboard. I just recently used this keyboard in my last video. And then over here, I have my half keyboard, which I also use in the video in my weird setup video too. I just have it here just to be cool. Over here, I have some bleach, just in case I get mad at Fortnite. Nothing too crazy, but you know, it's just there. Over here, it's just a random drawer with like random things in it. And then I also have this laptop that hasn't worked in like two years. I'm pretty sure it still does not work. So yeah, I don't know why that's even there anymore. Basically over here, my second table, I call this the where do I put this? And basically I just have a whole bunch of random stuff that if I don't know where to put it, I put it here. So actually, except for the mouse collection, that's kind of there on purpose. First, we got the Razer Bacillus V2. Then we got the Model D, then we got Mongrel's G402, the Model O, and Mr. Savage's mouse. That's the Rokat Cone Pure. We got my broken headset here, a whole bunch of can spray to clean my keyboard, a whole bunch of other random stuff. Then over here, we have my, uh, this is my Elgato that I used to use for my console and I used to record, but I don't use it anymore. And I, it's just kind of been sitting here. Here, I got the TV remote here. Let's, let's expose what I've been watching last. I guarantee you it's gonna be SS Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Hi, I'm like the biggest simp. I've been watching her since I've been playing Call of Duty all the way back then. Oh, and I almost forgot, guys. The best mouse out of the entire collection. The Booga Mouse. Got it from Five Below for $10. You already know the mouse has the best sensor, best DPI, best everything ever. Don't recommend best mouse ever. Over here, we got a whole bunch of random light stuff. My vertical mouse I use for a video too. I got all these lights for like the, like two RGB that I have. Then I have, you know, my aimbot sticks. There's a whole bunch of them. I think only one of my aimbot worked. I don't know about the other ones. Over here, I got some jerkins. I mean, some jerkins. My lotion that I used to wash my skin. Here, I got my tub of G Fuel. Then I have my G Fuel bottle. And then I actually just got this can today. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It tastes actually really good. And I bet you guys can't guess what new mouse I got today. I guarantee you guys will not guess what mouse I got. I swear you guys are not gonna guess. I'm telling you right now, you will not guess what mouse I got today. And what you guys all have been waiting for, my actual setup, or you probably haven't been waiting for, I don't know. This is one of my newer LED lights, what I used to like, you know, put the shine on my face and I'm so dark, you know. I gotta get some brighter lights because the last time it wasn't bright enough, dude. I had to get like the brightest light they had to see my dark face. Then over here, we got the green screen I have. This is the first time I actually got a green screen. I actually got it today. You just pull it up. This is probably one of the best green screens ever. You just pull it up and that's it. I mean, it's probably not the best, but it's the easiest to, you know, to work with because I'm kind of stupid, so I need the easier thing to work with. 
and then over here we got my first monitor it's the acer 75 hertz monitor i'll pull out a link in the description i don't remember exactly what it's called but over here we have my first 240 hertz monitor i don't think i'm ever gonna upgrade from this i don't even think i'm ever gonna go to 360 hertz that just seems like way too much i don't think i can hit that much and i have a 3080 over here we have my tripod for my camera it's a sony a5100 it's what i'm actually using to record now but you guys see how like i have it behind it it has to be a way for me to like not have my monitor so far apart and still be able to record i, I need to figure that out maybe i need some dual arm stands or something i don't know some pc good tech person in my comments tell me what to do to fix that issue <laughs> by the way the desk is some ikea desk i'm gonna put the link in the description for the desk too it's like 63 inches it's pretty big it's definitely sturdy because i've definitely hit it a lot of times Every time, bro. And then here I got my huge mouse pad with my face on it. It's a custom ink gaming mouse pad. I'll put the link to it in the description. All I did was add an image of like whatever I wanted, and then they just made this mouse pad, and it's really cool. I didn't get it sent to me or anything like that. But if you want God aim, your mouse pad has to say Kamali on it. Laser. Anyways, for the keyboard I use, I use the Razer Huntsman Mini. It has the purple switches, which are the clicky ones, and then I have some keycaps I got on here from Kraken Keyboards and from HyperX. They're like two keycaps I put on here. And yes, right over here, if you guys have not guessed, it was the G Pro Wireless. Wow, you're such a smart dude. I don't know how you guessed that. I just got this mouse today, and I have to say I'm really loving it so far. It's just so light. First time I use a wireless mouse, and I don't know if I'm ever going to go back again. I really love this mouse right now. For the microphone, it's the HyperX Quadcast. I think I'm going to get an XLR mic soon. It has really good quality, but I think I really need that really, really good quality. And now time for the PC setup. Guys, please don't roast my cable management. It used to be good, but, you know, I kind of gave up on it. So, over here, we just got a whole bunch of random cables and stuff. I got a cable box, and I barely have any cables in it. I'm kind of stupid. Inside of my PC, I have the Ryzen 9 3900 XT, the MSI Ventus 3080, and yes, guys, yes, 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 I know I have a stop cooler. Stop roasting me. I'm going to get a liquid cooler sometime soon, but for now, it's working. It's not crashing or anything. It's just fine. It's not overheating or anything, so I'm just going to keep on until I get a liquid cooler. Then I have a 750 watt power supply and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Up here, I got my Zoom Funko Pop. It's supposed to be inside the PC. I think he crawled out, but it's just for extra speed, you know? And then for the final part of my setup, I just have my router over here, my PlayStation. I literally never, ever use my PlayStation. It's kind of like, it's just there to be there, you know? Just like, I don't use it anymore. And over here, I almost forgot my chair. But my chair is so beat up, bro. Any chair company out there trying to sponsor me, I need a new chair, please. No. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. This is my full entire setup. As you guys can see, my walls are very plain. So, you know, hit that like and subscribe button so I can have my 100k plaque up there. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support. Big things coming in 2021. It's Kamali. And I'm out.